Hey, what's going on guys? This is Missin and welcome to my review on the 2020 Mega Tinsel, Tin of Lost Memories. But before we start, friendly reminder to like and subscribe because it motivates me a lot to keep making videos like these. And yeah, let's jump right into it. So the first card that we can see is Danger Ogopogo. Uh, that's a cool card if it can get reprinted in a high rarity for those Grand Maju players, but it's not too relevant to be honest. And then those three Salamangreed monsters, nobody really plays them. <laughs> I mean, Foxer at one point saw play as like a one of in some Salamangreed decks, but still, it's just very relevant. Uh, some not too great uh, dragon monsters. Neo Space Connector is a decent one. I think it's only available as a common, or maybe I'm wrong, but this card can definitely see play in Infernoble, which is nice because Dolphin can allow you to play through hand traps, which is cool. And then two, uh, I mean, a bunch of guard dragons. I mean, this one I think is the vanilla. These two uh, were involved in the Dark Matter combo in Blue Eyes, but eh, it's not too relevant anymore. Phantasme is the first big big bomb of the set, so uh, another reprint that could maybe uh, make the card drop by like 10 or 15 bucks could be very sick. I mean, I, I don't really count on it, but still. Uh, super rare Phantasme maybe just uh, help people who aren't uh, too rich. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my Dolce Penning Cesar. A very good card for Medalce, so if you could see a play, I mean, even for like Ad Emancipator, ironically, it's a really good level four extender. Uh, so you could see, see so you could see um, uh, a reprint as like a lower, no, a, a high rarity would, would be nice actually. I think it's only like a common or rarity right now. So yeah, Psychic Wielder is good in Burning Abyss Rocks. Alu Flupine, very very sick in uh, well Thunder Dragon, obviously, well, but not really anymore. I mean, it's still good because it does uh, trigger those uh, those two effects like Roar and Dark. But uh, you can play this in Shiranui as well, Banish the Spirit Master and the Solitaire, pop a card your opponent controls and then revive back the Spirit Master from the Banished, and then that makes you a rank 4, so that's sick. Violet Chimera, I wouldn't play this as a super poly target, the Plexer Chimera and Earth Golem and Ignister are better. Uh, this is a meme, uh, <laughs> shoutouts to Edipat, Boral Sword, Savage Dragon, the card is actually Borlo the Savage Dragon, but you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Cyber's Quantum Dragon, it's a good card, but not really anymore. Sunlight Wolf, it needs to be higher than Super Rare, because we already have a Super. LP could be nice as an ult uh, Ultra or Prismatic Secret. PST people care less, because LP is the most played one. Uh, Kaina is already a Super and an Ultimate, so it's also, once again, people don't really care too much. Ita is nice, people collect those, uh, those. I mean, like the family of the Charmer Lynx, just like people collected the family of like Mrs. Radiant, Doolittle Camera, and stuff like that, so... Uh, very, very cool cards. Fusion of Fire Trickstar Fusion, horrible cards. Neo's Fusion, however, uh, has actually seen play in Mech Knight Invoked, so this card could be nice. World Legacy Guard Dragon is actually a bomb in Rocket, so this card, if it becomes like 10 bucks cheaper, once again, I mean, I forgot if the card was still worth like 18 Canadian, but uh, in case it is, it could be nice if it dropped to like 8 or 10 max. But yeah, uh, Bot of Extravagance is probably like the, like the chase card of the set, to be honest. Uh, it's still worth like way too much money, so hopefully uh, it loses like 50 bucks of value once the set uh, comes out, so yeah. Uh, blah blah blah, whatever. Cataclysm is... I think that's the Icarus attack for the guard drag for the dragon monsters. I'm not too sure though. Forgot. So Subterra Succession is uh, it's all play in Shadows, I think. And uh, Witch's Strike is a really good side deck card against Guru and to a certain extent maybe Alter Guys, but it does depend. The entire Time Thief package except for Perpetua, I believe. So could be nice as like uh, in like a rarity boost. Uh, maybe like ultra pris ultra to prismatic secret, but you can't have like too many prismatic secrets in one set. Otherwise, it'll be just like a complete mess. So yeah, uh, the Valkyrie monsters. Shoutouts to the guy who rigged the Twitter poll. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> uh, Guru, I think this card is available as like better than just a common. It depends. I actually completely forgot. Uh, like if this card actually got reprints uh, recently. I think yeah. I think it's like available as an ultra rare. Not too sure though. Aerobane, better in Dark Lords than a Trickstar, because in Trickstar, Trickstar sucks, so it doesn't matter. Shinobi, Necro, uh, shoutouts to Naruto. No Material, one of the most forgotten and garbage hand traps, because Master Rule 5 just made it unplayable. Your opponent is no longer really, like, stuck on stuff, so, yeah, not not really worth it. Uh, Dino Wrestler, Destiny Hero, blah blah blah. Uh, Incarnation Italy, uh, it's good with Mermail, uh, Mermaid, even if, um... 
Orcus Nightmare gets banned, so yeah, World Legacy Guardian Mardark. Brotor is already a secret. Chaos Betrayer is decent in Chaos Lightsman, but not too great, honestly. Uh, World, World Chalice Guard Dragon Elmerdurg, that's the super poly target. Um, some other. Oh! Madolchi Teacher Glass Soufflé was. Is, I think it's only a rare right now, so it could be nice as like better than a rare, so yeah. Extra Hero Cross Crusader, it's a good card. Avramax, I mean, it's. I think it's not too expensive right now, but still, same thing with Signed and Mining, to be honest. So, these reprints, they don't, they won't necessarily, like, make, the, like, the market crash or something, but, yeah, could be, could be nice, though. Uh, Fusion Destiny, that's a, that's a decent card for some hero players, some others don't like it, but I think it's a good card, to be honest. World, like, I think it's, like, a one-card OTK or something. World Legacy Monstrosity, yeah, obviously, very good card in uh, the Generator deck, but it, it can break, like, very, very heavily because level 9 is are just inconsistent, so. Uh, what else? Mystic Mine and Crackdown. These cards are very sick, uh, so what? I, once again, you know, if they get, like, Ultra or Prismatic Secret could be nice, but anything, like, below that, and if they get, like, the same rarity, which, once again, it, it is possible, it would just be boring because... It wouldn't really change much to the set, and it would made it it would make it like a set that you wouldn't really want to buy, just want to buy the singles from, to be honest. So, uh, more Valkyrie stuff once again. Twitter polls, uh, Pegasus Wind, number XX Utopic Dark Infinity. That's like a Goyo Guardian for rank ten. It's pretty good. Or male Abyss Alicia. This card is. Uh, Link 2 that can actually interrupt your opponent because you can pitch the heavy infantry which pops uh, like a face up or like a marksman which pops a face down. Even a face down monster I think. Cherubini is good in um, Burning Abyss Rocks and what else? 3 axis. Yeah. Uh, more stuff, whatever. Marin says, oh now we're getting to like the boring section. Boring section. So Marin says Dino Wrestler Tenyi. Ranryu is good in... Um, Crusadia decks, Gizmek, Orochi, whatever, who cares? More Marincess garbage. Oh, okay, good. Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. That card is a bomb, so once again, if we can see like a cheap Appaloosa, would be nice. The same principle for like Pot of Extravagance, right? Like those cards are like a hundred bucks or something. Well, I'm Canadian, obviously, not US, but it's just too much money, man. It's, oh, uh, it's, it's way too much. Uh, yeah. Anyways, moving forward, Get Out is like an easy to get secret rare, so it doesn't really change much. It just makes it like it's free, literally. So yeah, Barricade Borg, good card, but it's whatever. This is, I think, a DD Crow. Grammarless is a decent card. I think it's an ultra rare. Uh, more uh, Gladiator Beast, Infinite Track, Gizmechiara, the bad one, Hoppier Squadron. It's like a hand trap formula synchron, uh, literally. Uh, so the bad... Oh, okay, no, Pyro Phoenix is actually cool, but not broken. Unchained stuff, IP Masquerina, Test Panther, I like those cards a lot. Bad Salaman, great cards. Marincess, Gladiator, Evil Eye... Oh, now we're just getting to, like, the boring part, you see? Just, it's like, literally... Yeah, Desert Locust is, like... I guess it's, uh, it's a decent card as long as Needle Fiber exists, but without Needle Fiber, it's just whatever. Uh, bye bye damage striker dragon good and obviously good in rockets obviously it's a must in rockets so <laughs> i think it's at least a two of so rico masters of the tenue another pretty good link three a lot of infinite track stuff by the way uh for my homie who's always uh, uh asking for an infinite track deck profile i got you man sometime soon as long as i can actually breathe uh, i just finished school like yesterday but still um, well, I mean for the semester, for the year technically. Now I have like an internship next semester, but anyways. Uh, more Witchcrafter stuff, more Evil Eye stuff. Bro, what the heck? Okay, that's some... That's mad Evil Eye stuff, whoa. <laughs> and then Magicalized Fusion, and now we get into the like the three TCG exclusives, which I don't care about, and the Legendary Dragoon, which single-handedly makes the set worth it. So that's pretty much all I had to... I guess say for this Megaton kind of review is not really in depth honestly I just wanted to it's like an overview to be to be honest if anything I just wanted to go through the cards real quick and uh, just show you guys uh, what I think of some of the cards and should they actually get like a rarity bump or like rarity downgrade but anyways that's just that's basically it so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time peace